Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Heather here from the Crystal Vein Tarot. Welcome. And I, so this reading is for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Capricorn. It is for the month of June. It is a general reading. As a general reading, the messages will not resonate for everyone, so be sure to check out your Moon and Rising sign readings as well. So again, thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you have subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate um, you know you watching, and I appreciate everyone who is tuning in each week and each month for these readings. I really appreciate your viewership, and I appreciate all the positive feedback and. Um, and comments that I've been receiving from my channel. I'm really grateful for um, to, to all of my viewers for tuning in. So Capricorn, let's see what's going on for you for June. Okay, so, so far, <laughs> okay, I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> I'm just, I, I, you know, um, it's funny when I do, when I do the signs and um, you, you do see the sisters, there's always, you know, very similar energies between the sister signs, like for example, the fire signs, the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, very similar feel to their readings. And um, so far with these earth signs, I've already done the Virgo reading. Um, these two cards came out too in, in Virgo, which is at different places, but very, very similar, similar energies. Not always even the same cards, but very similar energy kind of cards that come in. So Capricorn, for the month of June, you have the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords, it is often read as being a card of a relationship ending. However... I don't like to always read it like that. It is a card of heartbreak. It is a card of, can be seen as a card of divorce. These are all key words that go with this card. Loss, depression, can even be about surgery. So some kind of planned surgery for you or someone around you, someone that you're really close to. But the Three of Swords is really a card where you have invested a lot of yourself into something in some area of your life. So it doesn't even need to be about relationships. It can also be about career, money, finance. It can be your, it can be, um, could be health. It could be about your eating program and, and, and exercise program. Um, it can be your house, your home, but something that you have invested a lot of yourself into a lot of time, a, little, a lot of energy, your heart and soul, you've poured it into something and it fell through. It didn't turn out the way you it, you planned. And because of that, you are feeling a deep sense of loss. It's almost like that 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 heartbreak, that hole, that void. You're feeling that because it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to or the way you were expecting it to or had planned it to. And so you're going through the mourning of that of something not working out as planned, something that you've put a lot of energy into. And then you have the Seven of Swords here crossing you. And the Seven of Swords, um, this is a card that the key words that relate to this card are theft, betrayal, dishonesty, running away. Um, you see this man here, he's sneaking through this window. He is, he is, um, he's got all these swords on his, on his back in his backpack. So is he coming home from a heist? Or is he sneaking out in the middle of the night and running away? Um, is, you know, so, it, it, and this is how, you know, the, this, this card is. It has that, that feeling of, of again, of, of betrayal or dishonesty or something not being quite what it seemed to be. And this is where this Three of Swords you know, this energy that you're going to feel for June or throughout June. Um, again, you with the Seven of Swords crossing you, um, and this is like a, this could be something wasn't as it seemed to be. So you may have invested a lot of your time and energy into something based on the information that you had, but it wasn't complete information. So whether or not someone was deliberately dishonest with you, or you just didn't have all the facts um, where information was left out, whether or not it was intentional or unintentional, that's beside the point. 
but you um, you acted on some kind you could have acted on some kind of information and then because you didn't have all of the information it fell through and then you're getting that loss so it doesn't even have to be that someone has actually stolen from you or betrayed you or been dishonest with you it can simply be um, that you didn't have all the facts um, do make sure though for the month of June Capricorn that if you have any contracts that you're signing especially with this card here make sure you are reading it and double checking it like rereading it and also really reading the fine print very closely before you sign or commit to anything especially with this card here because it could be that someone has um, hasn't been completely above board with you or honest with you. This could also be where you are feeling like somebody has betrayed you or let you down, disappointed you. And this is what this can also represent. So, so in this situation here with this Three of Swords and that sense of loss and mourning, this could be that you really feel you really feel the sting of being let down by someone, that someone has disappointed you in some kind of way, in some area of your life. And this could even be, I mean, this could be even be a colleague at work. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. And you have the Eight of Wands. So this is in your foundation, and this is what has led to this situation. So this is a lot of information coming in. This is quick changes, quick action. Um, the Ace of Wands is very fast, fast moving in, uh, energy, but it's also information overload. So I really feel like information came to you because this is what has, what has led to this that you were, something has been brought to your attention that you didn't realize before, that you learned information, you learned something, and I do feel like it was about someone around you, and again, whether or not they actually um, betrayed you in some kind of way, or were dishonest with you in some kind of way, or they just let you down once you learned this information, you felt very let down, or disappointed in them but that's what has led to this is you learn something you learned information and then you have the wheel here and this is about the wheel is is the wheel of fortune so it t generally is seen as a um, good fortune or um, a turning point um, luck as well it can also be a card about gambling but it's in the you're it's in the position of your recent past energy moving into the background could still be lingering so you might still be feeling this for that first week of June but by then it's going to be clearing out. So the one thing with the Wheel of Fortune even though it is seen as the card of luck and good fortune the funny thing with the wheel, well, not really that funny, but the thing with the wheel is that it rotates. So what goes around comes around it's all about cycles. So as you have this upswing of good fortune, at some point you reach the top and what comes up must come down. And I really feel like with this, this energy for June of that Three of Swords and Seven of Swords, that for some of you, um, where things have been going smoothly for you, you're now going to see that turning point or you have seen that turning point with all this information that came in where now th there was that down and this is that down. This is that lower energy that you're, you're going into a lower energy. But for others of you, um, you know, this, this kind of was that bottom energy and now things are going to start looking better for you too. So it's, it's just, it all depends on your situation and what area of this life that this is, resonates with you. And so this Three of Swords energy is going to let, leave you feeling very unfulfilled and apathetic for the um, for the month of June this is but this is in the position of your strengths but it's also in the position of situations on, on the horizon that could be coming in to help you but you are really and you're gonna have to watch this Capricorn um, so you're gonna really be feeling apathetic you're gonna be really feeling like as you're mourning this loss of this three of swords you're really gonna be thinking about like these these cups that no longer fulfill you that you no longer gain fulfillment from um, you're kind of going to be thinking of those. So don't focus on that too much. Try not to dwell on that too much. Because if you do, you're going to miss this gift. This cup that's coming in here. I'm going to hold that a little closer. There we go. So this gift that's coming in from the universe. You see there's that, that light around the cup. And it's coming towards this, this gentleman that's, that's sitting here. And this is a gift coming in from the universe to you. 
something that will give you emotional fulfillment, something that's going to make you feel better, make you feel, you know, has that emotional satisfaction. And um, But if you're focused too much on this Three of Swords and what you've lost, because really that's what this card is focusing on, um, if you focus on that too much, you will miss that opportunity. And this is what is coming in to help you. This opportunity for emotional fulfillment is coming in to help you. And how are you going to make sure you don't miss it? By trusting your intuition. And this is what you're learning and developing from this whole situation, Capricorn, is listening to your intuition a little bit more. You have the moon here in what is developing from all of this. And the moon is a card about, it is the card of Pisces. So there could be a Pisces around you that plays an important role in your, in your life. But it's also about trusting your intuition and learning to trust your intuition. The other thing is also about voluntary changes. It's about you changing something in your life um, and choosing to change it because you just don't want to put up with something anymore. And what is that something? It's an unwanted something. Because the one thing with the moon, it can the moon can also be about secrets or hidden information. Um, and that's kind of coming to light as you trust your intuition. So if, if, you are, if you are around someone and, you know, again, with that Seven of Swords energy, this could be one of the reasons why you're learning to trust your intuition. Because the moon, it doesn't shine as brightly as the sun, so there's still shadows, so things are still hidden. But by trusting your intuition, you're, one thing that the, your intuition allows you to do, especially when you communicate with others, you know, you hear the words of people, and when you trust the words of people, you know, sometimes their words don't match the intonation or the body language that go along with it. And by listening to your intuition, trusting your intuition, it allows you to pick up on those hidden messages that people aren't saying with their words. And um, so then you don't end up in this kind of a situation again. And so this is what's evolving from this situation, is that you're learning to tap into that a little bit more, Capricorn, and trust that a little bit more. And this is how you're seeing the situation. So the Lovers card, you have the Lovers, it is the card of Gemini. I have to... <laughs> so <laughs> this is a tangent aside, you can fast forward through this if you like. I just, I'm finding this kind of funny because I'm a Capricorn and um, one of my daughters is a Pisces and there's Pisces and one of my other daughter is a Gemini and there's Gemini so I'm just kind of, that just struck me funny, I'm sorry. So there's my little tangent. So the Lovers is the card of Gemini. The, this is a card about partnerships. It's about deep love. It's about the strength of two people together. So you could be working, uh, someone could be helping you through this situation. This could also be what this cup is that comes in, that come in to help you. This could represent an individual that's emotionally supporting you. And this is where this lovers comes in. It doesn't have to be, although if it is a romantic relationship, um, then the lovers is someone who is, you know, there's a lot of passion, a lot of fire, a lot of attraction there. It's that primal lust, a soulmate kind of energy. So this could be a deepening of a relationship with that. Um, if you're in a relationship with that cups coming in and the opportunity that comes in, or it could be a new individual that's coming in to support you. But it can also be a partnership where it doesn't have to be romantic. It can also be a partnership where, um, a business partnership or just someone that is supporting you someone that's a, a really true friend that's around you and, and just you know uplifts you supports you compliments you brings out the best in you it's that kind of an energy too this can also represent a choice so you could be seeing this whole situation as well as a choice that you have decisions to make and then you have the page of wands pages are messengers they bring in information to us and because this is a, a wands energy, that fire energy, then this would be an, a message or information about a new project or creative idea coming in for you. And this is in the position of what's influencing, something that is influencing this whole situation. So Capricorn, pay attention to any messages that are coming to you. Um, they can come in all kinds of forms. They can come in from an individual. It can be also, you know, you're sitting and relaxing and thoughts start popping in your head. So it can be a message that way too that, that's coming from yourself or as you're listening and tapping into your intuition, you know, you could be receiving messages that way kind of from your inner self. 
or your higher self. But these would be messages about a creative project or a new project that's very creative and allows you to tap into your creative energies. It inspires you, lets you, um, gives you a lot of drive and ambition and, and, and is, it has that passionate kind of energy. Um, so it could be that kind of a message that's coming in for you. And then you have the three of wands here, and this is the work that needs to be done behind the scenes. So this is about, so this is about you having put some plans in motion. You've put some plans in motion, and and this person's standing on the banks of the water here. Um, they've set their ships out to sail. There's one already coming back in towards them. So you know some some results. You're starting to see some results from your efforts and your hard work in some area of your life, and you're starting to see results trickling. But it is a card about being patient. So, and Capricorn, you are an earth energy, you know how to be patient. So this is about you being patient because this is what needs to be done. This is the, the work that needs to be done behind the scenes. And this is about you being patient and just allowing situations to unfold as they will unfold and not forcing them. And I'm gonna clarify this. So you have the five of swords here in the position of where the potential outcome or where you're headed. So Five of Swords is about challenges and rivalry. It can be, um, it's a combative type of energy, combative type of card, but it is one of success. So it, 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 it's a, so you see that this man here, he's victorious, he's won the battle. You see fires burning behind him though, swords are down here, there's arrows through, not swords, sorry, shields. There's arrows through the shields. He's got his bounty, his, his rewards from, from battle and all these people that he's conquered and he's ho holding his sword. But this is a card, even though it's about battles, it's a card of at what cost. So at what cost? Um, what is the cost of doing battle? What is the cost of that? What is the cost of, of and I, I feel like because you have patience here and what you need needs to be done, I'm really feeling like that, you know, if, if you try and, and kind of push forward and force a situation, at what cost? What is going to be the cost of that? So I'm going to pull some clarifiers for that for you, Capricorn. I'd like to know what the final outcome is with that Five of Swords energy and what, what it's there. What is the, this rivalry that's going on? What is this, um, this, this, this kind of the conflict, this violence, this, this, you know, very difficult energy that you have, combative energy. And why is it there? Okay, so you will be, you have the Wheel of Fortune now twice, but you, so, any 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 kind of um, any kind of um, battles that that you do, and it's not that you have to be in an actual physical fist fight, but battles, any any challenges that you come up against, um, you're going to be successful. There is going to be successful, but again, it's there, there's going to be just keep in mind that there will be costs to that. Um, so if and, and I'm reminded of these cards here too. So I, I feel like if you if you don't let go of this energy, if, if you want to confront whoever or whatever this Seven of Swords energy is, that it's going to come at a cost. You are going to be victorious, but it is gonna come at a cost. So. And sometimes it's better to let sleeping dogs lie as the saying goes. Okay. What can Capricorn do with this Five of Swords energy? Let's see. Okay, and you have the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups... Is, this is about partnerships. This is about, um, it is often seen about re, um, ro romantic love and those kinds of partnerships, proposals, marriage. Um, but what can you do to overcome this Five of Swords energy? 
it's about partnership so the and and I, because it's cups energy and it has that emotional energy and this is a cup of partnerships of two people coming together I really feel like this is about forgiveness and if you want this five of swords energy to be in a positive kind of way you want to be successful you want to have your the wheel of fortune turn in your favor where, where you know there is that good fortune and there's luck coming in you need to let go of this so if someone if you do feel like you've been wronged by someone you need to forgive and forget and even if even if that's very difficult, you, it doesn't mean you have to suddenly open your life to them again. It, you know, you, you can kind of cut the person out, but you need to not hang on to it. And you need to make sure that that is not driving your motivations in as you move forward. Um, or, or things aren't going to, but there needs to be that forgiveness element there. I'm really feeling like that's how, how that will play out for you, Capricorn, or for many of you. I'm very interested now to see how June is going to go. Okay, so I'm going to pull one final card, an angel tarot card, for any final messages from Spirit and the Angels regarding this reading. And you have the Eight of Water. And the Eight of Water is about a desire to move on and um, searching for something more mean meaningful. It's also about spiritual and emotional growth. And part of that spiritual and emotional growth is about forgiveness. Forgiveness and compassion, those are big key words and, and emotions that are linked in with spiritual and emotional growth. Is that being able to be that bigger person, Capricorn. And so this concludes your reading for the month of June. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to um, subscribe and click on the notification bell so you are notified when the next readings are available. Capricorn, have a fantastic month of June and take care.